Hello everyone, it's time for another plugin review. This time it's FM, a recent development in FM synthesis from a company named Traction. It was released a few months back, but somehow went under the radar. So let's take a look at it now. If you watch other episodes, you might already know that I am quite an FM enthusiast. So, for years I've been looking for an ultimate FM synth that ticks all the boxes and will serve this one purpose. To make it clear, there are already thousands of great synths in the market each offering tons of features. I'm not going to go through each and every detail of FM to keep this video short and save your time. Instead, I would like to focus on features directly related to frequency modulation synthesis and answer the question, is FM the ultimate FM synth we've made for? In short, FM has nice and flexible UI tons of modulation options and a number of modern features such as MPE, which stands for MIDI Polyphonic Expression. How good are these and is that enough to beat the competition? Let's figure out. At first sight, FM's UI is clean organized. High contrast, color coded operators, they make it very easy to navigate the plugin. There are no fancy textures, ornaments or flashing lights. The artistic design was clearly sacrificed for the sake of readability. FM doesn't look pretty to my taste, but it does look clean and organized. Also, the GUI is resizable. It's an important feature for modern synth. For instance, native instruments, very popular FM8 doesn't have it. What do we have here? The central part of the plugin is slash FM matrix which determines modulation connections between operators. Additionally, on the left-hand side, we've got an array of all operators, which allows us to control them simultaneously. This is very nice for quickly tuning the sound. Let me show you. Additionally, every operator has its own page with dedicated pitch and level, LFO as well as envelope. You can also copy and paste settings and envelopes between operators, which is very handy, as FM usually requires stacking a number of operators quickly. Surprisingly, for every operator, we have a small subset of waveforms to choose from. It's very limited to basic waveforms and also these TX waves, which are apparently taken from Yamaha Classic Synth DX11. But God, why is that? Why can't we have some arbitrary waveforms or wavetables in 2021? Is that a design choice or technical limitation? Either way, it's not a strong point of FM. There are two sample operators, S1 and S2, which can be used as a regular samples to layer on top otherwise static sounds, like that. That's only some of a sample. But FM modulation of samples is also possible, just limited. The S1 can only be used as a source of FM modulation while well, S2 only as a target of modulation. Okay, let's hear how does it sound like a source. Clearly the effect is quite dramatic. Also it does sound good. And FM modulation with a sample as a target sounds like that. Not sure if that's your thing, but for sure it's interesting. It's a little disappointment that sample operators cannot be free routed or cross modulated. But to be honest, only a couple of synths in existence are with, such as Faceplant or World of Quantum. Now, cross modulating a number of operators can easily lead us to chaos. It's not just an opinion, 
it's the mathematical concept of chaos. Either way, it generates this unpleasant sound. So why bother? Well, here comes the killer feature of FMSynth, which is operator sync. Just like analog synths, we can synchronize two operators or oscillators to each other, effectively recreating their pitch. Let's hear that action. This is raw FM sound with feedback. Doesn't sound very good. But now I synchronize operator A to operator 1, which is in tune with it. And suddenly that sounds much better. Without, we're good. Or we can choose operator of different frequency to get different tune. But for sure, it does sound better than just chaotic oscillators. I really like it. So let's hear another example. Here is raw sound without sync. And now with sync. Different pitch. Without sync. say the difference is dramatic and that's a big advantage of FM. The main sleep point here is enormous amount of modulation options. Let's have a quick overview of what we have here. First, the modulation matrix with 200 slots. That's surely more than anyone can handle. Then we can use for it a number of LFOs, all kinds of MIDI sources, and also modifiers, which allow to perform mathematical operation on modulating signals. This is a kind of feature usually reserved for modular synths and not so common in a world of virtual synths. The so-called flow LFOs have many segments, each of which can be separately modulated, and on top of that, the slot can also be selected with another LFO or modulation source. Let's hear that. You can go quite wild well with it. There's also an option to draw your LFO by hand with multi segment envelope. <laughs> And so on. Now there are two XY pads which allow you to control up to four parameters at once. The question is how? I can control one with a mouse, and for the other, I would need dedicated XY controller. And these are pretty rare, I don't even own one, yet I own two of them. When it comes to triggering envelopes per notes, there is a very extensive trigger system, probably an overkill for everyone's needs. Also, there is an advanced arpeggiator for each of four layers. Now MPE, which stands for MIDI Polyphonic Expression. It's a relatively new feature, present only for a few years, but it's very promising, especially when it comes to FM. With dedicated controller, or if you're desperate, hand drawn automation, it allows you to add subtle movements per note to otherwise static material. Let's hear static sound first. Now MP. MP In order to use MPE, you first need to enable it per layer here, then in global settings here, 
And finally, if you're using Ableton, turn on this option. It took me a while to figure out. When it comes to effects, these are pretty standard. Chorus, reverb, compressor, and the like. They've got plenty of options though. There's one caveat. Once you set the effects, you can't reorder them. Well, not much to talk about here. To be honest, I can hardly remember the last time when a synth impressed me with its onboard effects. However, there's also dedicated EQ per layer, which is advanced enough to be useful in daily frequency sculpting task. The GUI contains many tabs and it's easy to get lost in them while trying to master the modulation between different sections. However, it's pretty simple once you learn it. One issue remains though. When you unselect the modulation target, you can no longer see it. So it's difficult to tell what modulates what. Luckily, you can still find all that info inside modulation matrix. So how is FM? It does have some impressive modulation capabilities, tons of config options and outstanding operator sync feature. It does, however, have some limitations, especially when it comes to waveform and sample modulation. A number of things could be improved, but then no synth is perfect. I think FM is a strong contender among best FM scenes in the market. So that was FM's interview. If you want to see more videos like that, hit like and subscribe.